At first they just say it's a video game, are you free for this video game? And then they say it's going to be a big one, it's going to last a while, it's going to be quite a few days. I had no idea it was going to be what it became. This is the Japanese copy of Shenmue 1, this is a sample edition. Three different copies of the Xbox version. A Shenmue promotional VHS from Japan that just included a video of this is what Shenmue is. It is a very simple story, your father's been murdered, you need to get revenge for him. It's about you stepping into a world of Japan in 1986 and exploring that world. Ryo could walk over here, technically there would be a bus stop right over here, you come through. The arcade would be right here, and then Dobuita Street would be right here, you would run through there. It was a game we'd never seen the likes of which before. It was Yu Suzuki, who was the father of Virtua Fighter. Yu-san was absolutely the king of the hill. He was always working on the cutting edge machines and able to co-develop the hardware and the software on the arcade at the same time. No one was making an engine that was capable of doing what Shinmu did, and that's why it cost so much. They had to make all these textures, make all these assets, design everything from scratch. And it was so extensive, it was so massive. I would walk into the studio, they literally gave me a script, sometimes like that, almost every day. That was a challenge, because most jobs are done in two to three hours. I think Shenmue 1 was 50 hours. But it was tied to the platform, and if the platform wasn't going to be successful, then unfortunately there was nowhere for it to go. And they may not have like the greatest sales numbers of all time. That doesn't mean that there isn't a loyal audience out there who like really cares deeply about the, these characters. And then I'd find other, you know, tens of thousands of other people around the world saying the same thing. Where's Shenmue 3? Where's Shenmue 3? But this community stayed around. I remember seeing all these websites and all these forums and Facebook groups, Twitter groups, and all these groups of people coming together to talk about this game and try and keep it alive. I believe Kotaku wrote up an article, Shenmue fans sure are crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Yu Suzuki. I'm sorry, I gotta make a phone call, guys. I I've got to make a phone call. Something you're that passionate about that everyone tells you for years is totally dead. And it just suddenly comes, it like punches its way out of the grave and just comes back. It was amazing. It was a story that was told in earnest. And it was at a time when the world wasn't cynical. And it was a time where we would accept that. We would go on that journey. Seeing him able to tell his story touches me more than even my desire to continue the journey. I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. For those of you who have been following the journey from the very beginning, I cannot thank you enough for being so patient with us. It's a long go. It is. As you've seen, we have quite a bit shot. We have a lot of material in the can. Uh, but in order to tell the full story of Shenmue and do it justice, we are taking it to Kickstarter and asking the fans for assistance. This is something that's very difficult to do for a filmmaker because you don't want to disappoint anybody. You want to make it good. There's a lot of pressure and we're putting that pressure on ourselves to satisfy you, the community. With your help, we can get a crew to Japan to finish filming the necessary interviews, record all the B-roll, 
and digitize all the assets from the Shenmue archives that we can get our hands on. If we could hit our target goal, we'll be able to finish principal photography and start the post-production process and hopefully finish that in a timely manner. You're suggesting that we're working with Weissnet and we get to go to the developers. That's correct. Randall, can you explain the deep dive process? I sure can. So we've made a couple other films, several, uh, histories of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and He-Man Masters of the Universe and some things we're not allowed to talk about. The process involves digging in deep. Deep dive means that we tell people stories. We don't go there with questions. We don't show up with a set of questions and just read the questions and get the answers. We have to learn everything that we're talking about. Adam is a Shenmue expert, lucky for us. But we have to work with the developers. We have to work with people in the fan community to get every single scrap that we can. So if you scroll down below, you can check out our full story as well as see our award tiers and our stretch goals. And if you guys believe in us and think that we could do this series justice, we would love to create a definitive film about Shenmue that the fans could be proud of and add to their collection. Adam, they can believe in us. We've done this before. I've been a big Shenmue fan for the last 15 years. This film is my passion. I really want to see it made, and I really want to see it made to the best that it possibly be and hold it to really, really high standards because I know that's what you guys want to see. You, you are those guys. That's the funny part. You're I talking am. to yourself. I want to watch this movie just as yeah. much as you guys do. So again, it's Adam Scipione and Randall Lopp. We're making a definitive history of. Check out our other definitive films, but specifically, help us build this one. It'll be the best Shenmue film possible. Thanks, guys. Bye.